what is going on? Draco the Dragonite here, coach of the California Keldeos, and we're going to do a little bit of team prep. She is the coach of the Tennessee Typhlosions, and she is going with Typhlosion, Togekiss, Raticate, Gengar, Talonflame, Toxicroak, Blissey, Chandelure, Crocodile, Black Curum, or Curum Black, if you will, and Mega Manetric. So I'm thinking that she's going to bring Mega Manetric. That is her Mega, plus Mega Manetric is good against one of our biggest threats that we have on our team, which is the California Keldeo himself. So I think that that says a little bit of something right there. So what I think is going to happen here, I think we're going to see a little very similar to what we saw last time. Last time that I fought her, she brought she brought a team of Mega Manetric, she brought Crocodile, she brought Chandelure, she brought Blissey, she brought, I think... I think she brought Togekiss as well, and then for her last Pokemon, she brought Gengar. That's right. So I don't think she's gonna do the same thing. I don't. I don't think so. I think she's gonna switch it up this time. I think she's gonna change it up, make it a little different. Um, plus, I know now that she has Destiny Bond on her Gengar, so I'm gonna try to plan accordingly as well. So I think what I'm gonna do is knowing that she's gonna want to start off this match. she I already know she is. I know she's going to want to start off this match and she is going to want to set up rocks with Crocodile. She might want to do that because that was her Stealth Rock setter before. That was her Stealth Rock setter. And the only thing that's good about that for us is the fact that her Crocodile is Choice Scarfed. So it's going to be locked. It's going to be locked in as Stealth Rocks and may have to switch out. So that would give us a potential free turn to be able to set up something if we wanted to set up something. And if we have Fortress in, let's say, because that's what I want to lead with, is I want to make sure I get my rocks up. And honestly, Fortress is the way to do that. Um, I need Fighting Pressure with Medicham, with not only Medicham, but with Darmanitan's Superpower. I also need Keldeo's Fighting Prowess there. I need the Water Presence from Keldeo for the evil and the despicable Chandelure. And last time I brought Gastrodon, and I had no idea that Chandelure had Energy Ball. So this time I'm not going to really have to worry about Energy Ball because I don't really have any Pokemon that are superly um, adversely affected by it. So I don't really have to worry about that. Um, and bringing Jolteon, I think, is really going to help me because besides Volt Absorbing, Mega Manetric, and Crocodile, nothing on his team wants to take a Volt Switch. Nothing on his team wants to take a Thunderbolt. So, I'm kind of thinking, and nothing on her team, sorry, excuse me. I think that we're going to see Mega Manetric. I think we might even see, we might even see Black Curum this time. Chandelure, I don't know if it's a definite, but it's it could be a possibility. I don't know if she wants to bring two Ghost Types. Um, Blissey, I think, is almost certain. I don't think Toxic Crow's coming. I don't think Talonflame's coming. I seriously doubt Raticate. Typhlosion, probably not. Um, I think that we're not going to be seeing... Man, I mean, this is, it's kind of hard here, because right here we have, we got two, we got three, four, five, six, seven. So we have one extra there. Um, I'm guessing that Chandelure is going to be a no. So I think, I think these are kind of going to be our si her six that she's going to bring. And the ones that we have right now, the ones I have right now in the, in the six boxes, I think those are going to be the ones. So I'm going to go ahead and take everyone else off here, because I don't really think that they are going to be they're not really going to be what we're bringing I don't think today. I really don't don't see it really working out today. No sorry, but I think this is what is going to be. So guys, that is the team prep and I will see you guys in the battle. Man guys, I'm I'm pretty nervous, I'm not going to lie. Whew, okay. Let's see what she brought. Let's see what she brought. I gotta get my rocks up. I know that. I know I gotta get my rocks up. Rocks are really important for Kieran Black as well. Because it does like 25% because he's ice type. So he's got that weakness to ice. Which is a huge thing. Whew! I'm getting nervous. I'm getting so nervous. I gotta, I'm getting, I'm almost getting chills. I gotta calm down. Okay. Alright, here we go. Okay, so pretty close. She didn't bring, bring didn't bring Kieran Black. She didn't bring Typhlosion. She didn't bring Chandelure. We only have one ghost type to worry about. This is so big. This is so big. We can open up a fortress. We can get our rocks up. 
Oh my gosh, this is huge. We have superpower. All we need to do is just kill... All we need to do is kill Gengar. And we are home free. Just kill Gengar and we are home free. Alright, let me edit this team here. Let me also get my notes up here. So I can write this down. But this is crazy. I cannot believe this. Okay. Alright, she's opening up a Minetric. We saw Minetric. I saw Blissey. I also saw Talonflame. I also saw... Who else did I see? Gengar. It's our biggest thing we need to take out. Okay. So let me just think right off the bat here. Now... If, if, if Minetric wants to, Minetric right now, right this second, could go for a absolutely horrifying, absolutely horrifying, could go for, I'm so scared to even think about it, to, could go for an overheat right now. But to be honest, I have Sturdy, and I want to get my rocks up, I think I'm literally just going to let, I'm going to let Fortress go down. I'm going to let Fortress go down here. Because I need to get my rocks up. And I am sturdy. Intimidate, Intimidate goes off. Let's see the overheat. We see Volt Switch. So we're going to live to see another day, and we're going to get our rocks up as well. It was a crit. Wow. Okay, who is she going to go into? We saw Toga Kiss as well. Which I still have here on the layout, but I need to... I'm going to take Cure and Black off. Put Town Flame on. Alright. I think that's... I think that's correct right there, what I have. Let's see what she decides to switch into here. Fluffy, which is the Togekiss. Okay. So, she's probably going to go ahead and go for a Defog. She's probably going to go for a Defog right now. Which, that kind of frees us up to go for a Gyro Ball, or just to go for a Volt Switch right now. I think I might go for a Volt Switch. Because nothing, nothing except for Chansey really wants to take anything from, from Fluffy right now. Yeah, so I gotta think about this. Because Chansey could take pretty much anything from Fluffy. Unless it's a Toxic. Which would really suck. So... I mean, I could switch in Jolteon. Right now. I could go for a Volt Switch. Get some damage off. Go into Jolteon. And... Then get a... Full-powered... T-Bolt off. And just start T-Bolting... Until of course he decides to bring in Crook she she decides to bring Crooked out, then I'll just switch out. Um Darn. I guess I'm gonna go for a gyro ball. Yeah, I'm gonna go for a gyro ball. We're gonna see Dazzling Gleam, which we do resist. But we do not take. Okay. And it was a crit. Another crit! Two crits! Holy cow! Okay, so that really stinks. Dunk, man. Uh, okay. Togekiss kills uh, Fortress with Dazzling Gleam. Man. Poor Fortress. Sorry, buddy. Alright, well, in this case, I think I don't really have a choice. I think the wisest decision would be to switch in Jolteon right now and get off a max powered, and don't be not speed, and get off a max powered T Bolt. But in the off chance that he does, okay, this one, this one I gotta switch because mind games is a thing here. If I decide to go for a Shadow Ball, 
It let us out to go for a Shadow Ball. It will do probably about 25% or more to Crocodile. But I don't know what I don't know what Fluffy wants to do to me. So you know what? I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it. Yep, I'm gonna risk it. I'm glad I risked it. Let's see the switch. Crocodile? Yep, liability, the crocodile. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, so we could have gone for HP Ice, but I don't think it would have done as much damage as Shadow Ball does. Yeah, Shadow Ball, special D drop. There it is! Special defense drop. Let's go. Let's flippin' go. Okay, so we just got the special defense drop. And... I'm gonna go for another Shadow Ball. I'm the, I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna outspeed, necessarily. But, there's nothing I can really do, unfortunately, against liability right now. Except for just try to kill it. It's literally all I can do. Because this thing is so flipping fast with this Choice Scarf. So yeah, we do see Crocodile. We do see Crocodile. I hate... I hate fighting Crocodile. It's not even that... Like, it doesn't even seem like it's that good of a Pokemon, but it is, man. Because it's so scary! Shadow Ball. Please crit. Specialty drop. No. Didn't go for knockoff. That is the best thing that could have happened. That does not even matter because... That does not even matter. That does not even matter. Go ahead. Go ahead. You get your Moxie boost. I'm still going to outspeed you. I'm still going to outspeed you. So right now, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go into Keldeo because Keldeo is my fastest... My fastest answer right now. It is my fastest answer. I'm going to update this real fast. Crocodile kills Jolteon with knockoff. Okay. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and go for a Scald. Is that what I'm going to go for? Yep, we do have speed, just like I thought. We are timid, max speed, and goodbye liability. Crocodile dies to... Scald from Keldeo. Let's go, Keldeo. That is already one of the biggest threats out of the entire thing. Because now Chansey can't get Eevee Light knocked off. That is what I'm talking about, guys. That is what I'm talking about right there. Goodbye, Crocodile. You annoying, annoying Pokemon. Literally, Crocodile is horrible for us. Crocodile is bad for, it's bad for flipping Metacham because it has dark super effectiveness. Like, there's so many bad things. Ugh. Okay. Now here's when I'm going to play it safe. Right now. Because we've already seen the life orb damage. I have no reason to try to risk anything right now. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch into Chansey. And I'm just going to start, I'm just going to start, I'm going to fire off a, uh, a Seismic Toss. Is what I'm going to do. And that way, if we see the switch into Gengar, if we see the switch into Gengar, I don't need to be that worried, because then I go, oh, he's switching into Gengar. Let me go ahead and get Metacham in here for free, because Metacham will be able to go for a Bullet Punch, and if, he, if she tries to go for Destiny Bond again, I already fell for that trick once, I'm not going to fall for it again. So Destiny Bond's gonna out I mean Destiny Bond Ball Punch is gonna outspeed and give us the, the enough damage to where we can just we can literally just bullet punch over and over again and Destiny Bond won't even be a problem. It will not even be a thing, baby. Won't be a thing. We'll be fine. We will be fine. But this battle is making me nervous because right now she is in the lead. And she's taking a very long time to make her decision. She's staying in, which makes me think she's going for an Air Slash. As we do see the Air Slash. Okay. So we see the Air Slash. And, you know what? Actually? This, 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 uh... I'm gonna go for Toxic, actually. Because, either way, if I go for Toxic or Seismic Toss... If she switches, it's not going to matter. It, it, both of them are going to fail, obviously. Toxic doesn't affect Gengar. Seismic Toss is fighting, so it doesn't affect. And there's a switch. So I, I needed to see. Bates in, Bates in the Blissey. 
This is perfect. This is perfect. This is so perfect. Oh my gosh, is this perfect. Until that happened. Until that happened. Okay. Alright. Until that happened. Of course that had to happen. Alright, um... You know what? Doesn't matter. I'm gonna go for another Toxic. As we see a Toxic of her own right there. Doesn't matter. I have, I have Slap Boiled. I have Heal Bell. I'm not worried. Not worried. I have a feeling we're probably going to see Seismic Toss right now, but I don't know for sure. So, that being said, either way, I know what I have to do. I have to switch into Enlightened right now, so that way, I can bait the switch of Gengar coming in by, for, by acting like I'm going to use a Fighting-type move. Then when Gengar comes in, I will be using Zen Headbutt. And be doing super effective damage. So that's my plan. We are going to see Heal Bell. That is perfectly fine. I have Natural Cure. I don't have Toxic anymore. I just got a free switch. That's exactly what I wanted. Oh, that's fine. Get back to max HP if you want. I am totally cool with that. Now let me see if I can do the old bait and switch. I'm hoping it'll work. I don't know if it'll work, but we'll try right now. So here we go. Let's see if she does it. Let's see if she falls for the bait and switch. Let's see if she falls to the bait and switch into Gengar. No, she doesn't switch. She doesn't switch. That actually is kind of bad for us, because that means we're probably going to get toxic right now. That is pretty bad for us, honestly. Oh, protect. So, scouting. Scouting. Okay. Scouting. All right. All right. Okay. To be honest, now... Now, I'm just going to do it again. I'm just gonna do it again because now I think the switch is now I think the switch is eminent, but we'll see. These are some serious mind games right now, and honestly, I kind of love it. I kind of love it. No, no switch. All right, can we get a flinch? Can we get a flinch? No flinch. Okay, we do see toxic. It's fine. I have heal bell. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. I'm really not. And seeing that. Y that uh that she decided to stay in with Blissey. Now I think I actually am gonna go for Drain Punch. Where does he protect? Okay. So doing the toxic stall right now. Interesting. Interesting. Very you know, it's a it's a strategy. It's not a very it's not a fun one, but it's a strategy. And uh, I gotta respect it. I gotta respect it. As much as I don't want to, I gotta respect it. So now let's see if I can get the let's see if I can get the ball back in my court here. Zen headbutt, yes. Here we go. Put in Gengar. No Gengar? That's fine. I don't care. That's fine. You're taking 25% more to rocks. Zen headbutt does connect, and we're gonna do a lot of damage. Enough to take Fluffy out. Let's go. Let's go. Get out of here, Fluffy. Get out of here. I don't want you here. I don't want you here. All right, wait up here. Togekiss, where are you on the list? Get out of here, Togekiss. All right. Togekiss dies to Zen Headbutt. No, dies to Medicham from Zen Headbutt. Man, I love it. All right, that is flipping awesome. That is so flippin' awesome, man. This is this is turning out to be very good for us. Because Blissey was a problem. Because Blissey was a problem. No, not Blissey. Toxic <laughs> Oh my gosh. Togekiss was a problem. Because Togekiss was a problem for Me for Metachan. And was a problem for Keldeo. But now we just got rid of it. We just got rid of that flying that flying pressure. And boy am I glad we did. <clears throat> boy am I glad we did.
But to be honest, I still don't know if we are going to win this match. I'm very sad about it, but I really don't know what's going to happen. Okay, so Gengar does come in. And Gengar does take rocks. Okay, so right now is when I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go for Bullet Punch, because I know Bullet Punch isn't going to kill, and we are going to outspeed. <clears throat> Whether it kills or not doesn't matter. I'm waiting for Destiny Bond. We don't see Destiny Bond, we see the straight-up Shadow Ball. Oh my gosh! I didn't know! I thought it was going to be Destiny Bond. That is so good! Wow, props to my... Props to my opponent. My gosh. I love what I'm seeing here. Guys, I love what I'm seeing here. I really do. Um, I already know the Keldeo is going to outspeed. So yeah, we'll go, we'll go Keldeo. <clears throat> but I think we might lose this one, unfortunately. Kills Medicham... with Shadow Ball. Because she still has... She's still one Pokemon ahead of us. To be honest, I'm kind of scared. I really am kind of scared. Because she still has Mega Manetric. She still has Talonflame. Talonflame! Like, if, if she were to switch in Talonflame right now and take 50% from Rocks and Scald, I could say I would think we might have a chance of winning. But we have to fight a Mega Manetric and a Talonflame. Which Talonflame is probably going to be able to one-shot Harambe with a Brave Bird. Definitely not a Flare Blitz, but probably going to be able to one-shot with a Brave Bird. Because, I mean, I, I, I'm going to run Calyx right now, but I seriously doubt that we're going to be able to live. Seriously doubt it. I'm going to run Calyx right now while I have time, while she's deciding. I'm going to run Calyx, but... <clears throat> I think that is literally, like, the slightest of slightest chances we are ever going to get, and I don't think it's going to happen. But I just want to see if Darmanitan... Destiny Bond! And he does outspeed. That really sucks. Yeah, we... we yeah, so we lost. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we lost. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try, but I. I. This, it's not looking very good for us. It is not looking good for us at all. Both of us don't get that. Both of us do not get that point. But um, it's really not looking very good. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and. Well, now that Gengar's gone, we we can do superpowers. We can also do Rock Slide, and we can also just straight up go for. Okay, and here is Talonflame. Okay, so I'm going to try to run Calyx right now if I can. Damage Calculator. We do have 50% of rocks. Uh, let's see. So, Darmanitan. We are Choice Scarf. And we are fighting A horrific and incredibly powerful Talonflame. Alright, I'm going to try to do this as fast as I can. Alright, uh, let's just go with Offensive Swords Dance. Okay, Attack, Darmanitan, Rock Slide. Right, so Brave Bird doesn't kill us. So as long as there's no crit, we will live. We will 100% live. Um, and just for damage, Flare Blitz does 59 to 70%. Rock Slide does 100% kill, but it might miss. And I know Flare Blitz will not miss. So, just for that reasoning and that reasoning alone, I'm going to go for Flare Blitz. What do you say, Brave Bird? Let's hope we live. No crit, please. Please, no crit. Please, no crit. Please, no crit. Thank you for the no crit. Okay. Flare Blitz. You're below half. You are dead, Talonflame. There is Talonflame dead. Awesome. Thank the Lord. Okay, Talonflame dies to Flare Blitz from Darmanitan. Dear goodness gracious. Okay, and here comes in Chansey the Blissey. All right. Another Flare Blitz. You can go for Protect. It's not going to help, but you can go for it if you want to.
Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and go for another Flare Blitz. Even with that, even with that HP, it's still not gonna help. Because we're max attack. Yep. Yes! Let's go! Blissey dies. Two Flare Blitz. From... Darman. I-10. Alright, and Chansey. The beautiful Chansey. Now gets to do some fun stuff. We get to get Toxic up. And then we get to Sop Boiled. Tell our heart's content. And that's probably my favorite part. Blissey is dead. Gengar is dead. Talonflame is dead. Only thing that remains is Manetric. And I'm going to go for Toxic right now. Thunderbolt. We do take it very well. Toxic does not miss. Thank you for not missing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we also know here that Darmanitan died to a suicide, which was Flare Blitz? I guess it was a suicide, right? Yeah. Darmanitan dies to Flare Blitz Recoil. Alright, and I'm going to go ahead and go for a soft boil. I'm not risking anything, man. I'm not risking anything. I'm just not. And we already know that Manetric has Thunder Bolt and Volt Switch. But I can't remember if I saw her other moves last time. I really don't know. Another T Bolt. Alright. Does like not even 25%. And here comes Seismic Toss. And I think Manetric is just going to die from Toxic anyway, but I'm going to go ahead and just go for another... I'm just going to go for another Seismic Toss. And that is the win. I honestly did not think we were going to win. That was insane. That was literally insane. But we pulled it together very narrowly. And Chansey was the MVP. Way to go, Chansey. Doesn't matter. We can't record the video. Guys, make sure you give a great shout-out to Flashfire Flame, my opponent. She really did a really good job. It was a 1-1 match. That was honestly one of the best ones I've done. And that was super awesome. Super, super awesome. GG to my opponent. Um, that, was, that was honestly just a really good match. Alright, guys. We are 5-0. and Holy cow. Holy cow. We we won. We won, guys. This is Drago the Dragonite, head coach of the California Keldeos, and I am going to be flying off. I will see you guys later.